Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Galway. Today we are going to do a free walking tour, which is something we haven't done on this trip yet, and probably explore the town a bit more. Yep, let's have a look around Galway. Uh, we know a few of the sites, but hopefully we'll find some hidden gems along the way and test out some food. There might be some seafood that Phil might have to try. Explore Galway little tourist information booth in Air Square. No, it is. About waiting in a minute. We can't give you any information about this guy because the stone in the corner in the corner is worn out this is our guide for our walking tour so this is very much corner I told you I'd find out who he is. It's Patrick Connor. He was a Gaelic writer who lived in the late 1800s, early 1900s. These flags represent the 14 tribes of Galway and they line the main street backing onto Air Square. This statue is, represents sales of the Galway hooker boats. Brown's door. How convenient, the brown flag is near the brown door. <laughs> That's good, I didn't think that would work. This tour took us through many of the highlights of Galway, including the shopping streets, pedestrian streets. The shop street. We not only got to walk down the streets, but Connor was very good at pointing out a few hidden little things that if you didn't remember to look up, you wouldn't see. The stories of Galway are full of mystery and intrigue and at this spot we learnt about the mayor, who was a lynch, who hung his son out the window. Walter and Gomez got on like a house on fire. They were drinking, they were dancing, they were trying to outdo each other with their stories and they were, the bromance was alive and well. The markets are held here on Saturday morning. Unfortunately, there is work going on everywhere around Galway today, including at the King's Head. This is Key Street. We've all heard of a Galway girl. This statue is a Galway girl. They've got black hair and blue eyes and are very, very appealing. Donald's is a famous fish and chip shop. This is uh, behind you is Blake's Castle. Uh, it's also for sale. And our tour concluded on the banks of the river, walking through the Spanish, Spanish arch built in the 1500s as part of the defensive walls of Galway. That's the museum. Uh... Connor may or may not have sung at this point, but you'll just have to go to Galway and do the tour for yourself to find out. So where are we, Phil? King's Head. Up. In Galway. What have we got here for you today, Phil? A um, big bowl of mussels. Big bowl of mussels and a Murphy's. A Murphy's. So this is your first Murphy's, isn't it? Yeah. They've Murphy's been in Guinness, but not Murphy's. Murphy's is the other Irish stout. What are you going to try first? A Murphy's. How is it compared to a Guinness? More chocolatey. 
So nicer? Mm, uh, sweeter, but it's good. Good. Mm. Nice. For me, I've got a King's Head Red Ale. It's something else in that name, but I can't remember. So I tried a red ale yesterday and quite liked it. So let's see how the King's Head goes. This I'm not quite sure. It's got a bit of a oh, it mellows as you have the extra one. The first one had a bit of a kick at the back. For me, I've got boneless pork and some onion rings and a salad. And no doubt, I'll nick some of Phil's chip. Big, um, onion. Hey? Big onion. Big onion. Bit of onion is quite thin in the crisp, but the skin's nice. Look at how tender these are. Look at that. So this is the pork. Not bad at all. We're going to eat our lunch and we'll show you more of your way later. This is the King's Head. Live yes, music every night. I assume this is the front direction. Smell the coal from the fire. St Nicholas is celebrating its 700th anniversary, 1320. Its history goes back to. I can feel there is somebody here. It's just after Easter. The organ is from 1912, and the pipe are from 1845. Yeah, he's reaching out his hand to me to wash away my tears. Oh, oh I know. Holy water stoop. This one's actually quite unusual because they're usually on the side of the wall. This is the baptismal font. I love the fact that this is a working church. There's a craft group going on around the nook behind me. That sometimes you can come into a church and it is still alive and active. Sing hallelujah. Yes, it is another pub, but it's coffee this time. <laughs> Just on uh, Facebook on a post the other day if eating at pubs all the time and I said it was a mix but I've got to say since we picked Galway every meal including a cup of coffee has been at a pub. What are we about to do now Phil? We're about to take a trolley train and ride around Galway. Yeah we've got a bit of time this afternoon and Save our feet. Save our feet. <laughs> We've walked around the town a fair bit. This will take us a little bit further out. And it's another nice way to see the town that we haven't done this trip. The trolley car is 12 50 per, per or 12, 12 euros 50 per person and takes 40 to 45 minutes to complete the circuit. So nice way to spend just a little bit of time. After our walking tour this morning, I think we'll feel as though we've had a pretty good cover of Galway. The natural houses to the right of the museum is known as the Long Walk. We're at the Salt Hill Beach stop on the train. National Aquarium of Ireland is right across the road if you're looking for an aquarium or something to do. Uh, but this is the view. The trolley train was just a lovely way to see 
a little bit more of Galway and to rest our feet and revisit some of the places that we've seen. If you've got 45 minutes to spare and you want to see a little bit more than just the centre of Galway, get on the train. It was fantastic. <laughs> we ate at Chocotta Macani and had some Italian. Phil enjoyed his pizza. My risotto was a came out after dinner and there's a different vibe on Chop Street. As people are starting to fill up the restaurants and pubs for dinner. Just behind Shop Street is the medieval lanes of Norway. There's the bridge watch tower on the other bridge. Who's that on the bridge? Be nice to sit there. There's this whole canal system that runs through Galway. Just very tranquil really. There is a lock, but we're probably not going to walk past it, past it tonight. This is the Sliding Rock uh, Inn at Galway, 15 minutes out of the centre of town. This is our home for the next two nights. Oh, and the mattress feels okay. Compact little room, but it'll do. There's a little nook around here, tea and coffee, some hooks and hanging racks, extra pillows, always a good thing, extra pillows, and there's the door, so that's basically it. Compact little bathroom, good shower. There's lots of awesome outlets in this hotel room there are actually five paired outlets no USBs but plenty of places to stick it up to. dinner at the sliding we've got eggs and chicken Phil and I have both we've got the Bailey's and chocolate cheesecake for dessert I've walked a lot today I deserve it so Phil gets one too Toast this morning, something a bit healthier. Those three windows were our bedroom. We hope you enjoyed our day in Galway. Why not hit the like and subscribe button? Ring that little bell and you'll be notified of our upcoming videos. We've still got a couple left in our island adventure. As always, thanks for joining us. Travel, Travel brilliantly. brilliantly. Bye. Bye.